What's up, guys? Hey, this is Christian Brindle with Six Figure Medicare Agent. Hope this video finds you doing well. And we're back with another video. Um, today, we're going to talk about social media platforms and why it's really in your best interest to just start out with a couple. But before we get into that, guys, we've got to talk to you about my favorite telemarketing lead company, who's actually the sponsor of this video, and that's Lead Heroes. Guys, Lead Heroes has got you covered when it comes to telemarketing leads, whether it's final expense leads, Medicare supplement leads, maybe it's turning 65 leads. They just have something for everybody. And guys, just because you watch this video, they're going to give you 10% off any order you make on their website. The link to their website can be, down, found, can be found down in the description as well as a coupon code you can use at checkout. Um, whether you just want to pay per lead, whether you want to do a custom calling campaign where they can literally design a campaign to your tailored liking um, and pay by, and pay one of their callers by the hour, they just really have something that can help out quite a bit. Um, go check them out. Try them out in your business in 2021. So guys, um, we're going to be talking about content creation. I'm a big believer in creating content, as you know, right? You're watching content that I've created right now <laughs> as, you, as you listen to me. Um, I'm a big believer in creating content for your business. No matter what you're trying to do, whether it's to as a recruiter, whether it is um, on the consumer-facing side to try to bring in clients in the door, um, I think it's a very, very good and smart thing for you to create content in your business. Um, first and foremost, folks, the main thing that I would encourage you to keep in mind is when you first start creating content, a lot of times, and this is just depending on where you're at in your business, now, if you're an agency that is maybe scaled already and you just want to maybe see if the content can help you scale even higher, then maybe this doesn't apply to you. But for most people, when they first start creating content, they don't really have the capital or the income at this point in time or the size or the growth in their business to really pay someone on their staff full time to help them out with their content. What I mean by help out with the content is edit the videos. You know, if you're making videos, write the blog articles, chop things up, edit stuff, design thumbnails or images or whatever the case might be, or maybe actually share different pieces of content across different platforms. Um, one mistake I made early on in my career is I was trying to be um, a force on every single platform. And what it was doing is it was stretching me so thin to where it diluted me overall. I was trying to be active on, I was trying to be incredibly active on Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, podcasting, um, you name it. I was trying to do it, you know, uh, Pinterest. I have a Pinterest account that I haven't used in years. Um, but what I learned early on, guys, is when you first start making content, now this doesn't have to be this way forever, and it's not, maybe not even necessarily be true if you have somebody that you can bring on in your office or on your staff full time to essentially take over that role for you. Um, then there's plenty of time to get your message across on every platform and take it full advantage of it because you're not having to do everything yourself. But when you're first starting to create content in your business, I would encourage you to focus on two or three and no more, at least at the beginning. Really master two to three platforms. The platforms that I put the most focus on is YouTube, the platform you're watching this on right now, um, my podcast, which which is hosted on Anchor, um, which essentially broadcasts the pod podcast on 15 to 20 different websites all at the same time. Podcast is a huge part of what I do, mainly because it's the first thing I really mastered. Um, and Facebook, for the Facebook group, for the Six Figure Medicare Agent Facebook group. Um, I do things on other on other platforms, right? I mean, we, we, we're, we're fairly active on LinkedIn, um, become more active on Clubhouse, becoming more active on TikTok. I'm starting to grow and expand because I have a little bit more of the infrastructure to be able to do so. But when you're starting out, you just don't have the time to do that. Remember, content creation supplements your business. It does not replace your business. So however you're getting business right now, you don't want to turn that faucet off and put all of your time and all of your attention into creating content. No, you want to be doing it on the side in a, in a way and, and, and in a capacity that you can manage. And I believe by focusing on two to three platforms, you can start to build followings, you can start to get content out there, but you have to understand what your message is and what you're trying to do. I might not use LinkedIn for a Medicare consumer facing um, approach, because I don't think I'm gonna get much out of that. Um, maybe a little bit, but not a lot. It's not gonna be consistent, it's just not gonna be a lot. It's gonna probably do better for recruiting, 
It's probably a great platform for recruiters. Um, so understand what you're trying to do first and foremost. Understand your message. Understand what your end, end, attend, um, agenda is, your end goal. Because at the end of the day, to put out content, it's to get your name out there, to get your business out there, and give away great free information so people want to do business with you. At the end of the day, that's the end goal with content and creating content. It's building a brand. It's building your name. It's making yourself more recognizable in what you're talking about. Essentially, identifying yourself and branding yourself as an expert in that space. Um, Facebook groups are great for anything. They're probably much easier to build on the recruiting side, but they can be used um, for consumer facing as well. YouTube channels, same way. You know, you can use a YouTube channel for essentially anything. I would just make sure that you understand what you're trying to do, what your message is, and understand the unique capabilities of every different platform. You know, for example, like Twitter is probably, in my opinion, I mean, and there's people out there that use Twitter very effectively, but I don't believe Twitter is nearly as valuable as a YouTube. I would put YouTube at number one of all these platforms if you were going to try to build an audience. I don't think there's any platform that's more valuable. Um, people asked, someone asked me in an interview recently, like, which, which platforms would you want to, you know, essentially keep if you had to get, keep one and get rid of the rest? I probably said either YouTube or my Facebook group because we built the Facebook group up. It's such a beast at this point. Um, but if I was starting from scratch, YouTube would be the number one in my opinion. Um, but don't overwhelm yourself, guys. You have to be able to crawl before you can walk. You have to be able to walk before you can run. And start off with two, maybe even three at the most platforms at a time when you're creating content and then work your way up. Remember, I've been at this for three years, creating content. It grows over time. And like I said, if you're a very substantially sized organization and you can just bring someone on full time on your staff to essentially um, manage your content for you and get it out to where it needs to be and effectively manage all these different channels, then great. Get on 15 channels. Get on 15 different platforms. But if you're doing a lot of the work yourself, you don't want it to become your full-time job. It's supposed to supplement your business, not replace your business. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you have any questions or you want to know more about co creating content, I have my Feed the Beast course. It's a 15-video course that goes over how to create an online brand. It's $99 and some change. Link to, the, to that can be found down in the description. So go check it out. It's awesome. You get lifetime access. It's a one-time fee, um, and you won't be sorry. It shows exactly how I make my videos, how I schedule posts, how I built my Facebook group, how I create my podcast. Everything you need to know is on that course. Um, and we've had some great feedback already from it. So go check it out. If you like the video, drop a like, show us some support, comment your thoughts down in the comment section, hit the subscribe button. So that way you're notified and you know, when we upload new videos, which is typically three times a week and here's to your success. Here's to your abundance. And we'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.